Yo, what is up? So there is a new OptiScale that's literally just dropped uh, from GIT Hub. So it is OptiScale 0.7.9. Um, so actually I just found out that Dying Light 2 should be working now with FSR 4. So I did do a video on this before and it literally it just crashed every time I tried to install FSR 4. So the best I could get was like the latest version of uh, FSR 3 at the time. Uh, but the exciting thing is uh, I didn't expect it to actually come with uh, this OptiScaler. But there is FSR 4.0.2 which is it literally should be better than the previous version. So there's been a continuous improvement so far from FSR 4 uh, 0.0 .0 all the way to the next one up which was a uh, 4.0.1. So I mean at the end of the day uh, it is improving all the time. So I'll talk about this now because it's basically an install guide. So all the new files there is well, another there's I think there's an extra one or two files with this latest OptiScaler. So you do the same thing, just delete the Linux bit, because uh, I mean, most people are on Windows, if you're on Linux, you will be using that file instead of Windows to install OptiScaler. So you install it exactly the same way. But I did have a bit, I mean, it wasn't a simple install because when I first installed it into the game, uh, I had to verify the files for the games to start. But I have just recently installed uh, Dying Light 2. So I don't know if it was like a direct X uh, issue or something. But uh, it was a bit weird because I never usually have that. So if it doesn't start up after installing OptiScaler, just verify the files on Steam and then it should load up and OptiScaler stays installed. The other thing is uh, when I pressed insert to bring up the OptiScaler menu, it just had no frame generation and that was it so it didn't have any normal option what you usually get to apply fsr 3.x so it didn't have that and then i found out i actually had to apply xess and then it just gave me the option to restart the game into the x12 mode basically and then once i restarted it actually gave me the option here as you can see so again it might just be because of literally reinstalled the game i haven't been playing it maybe you've already got it in the uh, dx12 mode and it will be fairly simple so there was a few little annoying things uh the other annoying thing is you got to click in the right stick to save it on the pad so i'll, I'll come out of it and then uh but it does give you the option so i just felt that was a bit weird so it's it's a bit finicky but once i applied it my god did it look good so and I, I thought uh, I thought we'd be having to wait for new drivers for FSR 4.0.2. And my God, did it look clean as well. So that is a night and day difference. So I do actually, I'm so excited to try this out now, the newest version of FSR 4. Um, I mean, usually it comes with the AMD drivers. So I, I did a touch on this. I do think this uh, OptiScaler developer who makes a mod i think he's basically he's definitely uh working with amd for me because uh they, it feels like he's getting all this uh exclusive sort of info and support so i think I, i'm pretty sure i mean to be able to get fsr 4.0.2 already i think they're basically working on it together because amd must know us consumers want FSR 4 as quickly as possible. So that, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So, I mean, he does get info. I've been reading all his uh, information on the GIT hub when he releases stuff, and it pretty much looks like it. So it's really exciting time to round deep. So, I mean, FSR Redstone is around the corner, but I am expecting, as I said, I think... Uh, this is just going to get better and better, much like DLSS does with their updated versions of DLSS 4, etc. and all that. And it should be a lot easier to implement. So what I'm doing here is I did notice there was no option to use frame generation. 
so I will add these files. I've, I've done it in a couple of videos before. So you will need to go back to that folder where you installed OptusGirl up. And you will need to add the fake MVAPI file and the DillSS to FSR frame generation file. And then that will literally activate frame gen for us in the game. So then you can use it. So I'm just going through that now. So it's pretty simple, you just paste the files in. Uh, just keep them files handy for when you want to put frame generation in the game. If it doesn't work automatically, so then it just works in the game. Uh, the other thing is uh, when you press insert to bring that OptiScaler menu up, uh, I would suggest using the keyboard arrows instead of the mouse because it's not accurately... Uh, detecting where you're clicking so I did and that was another thing I found annoying with this game so certain games it can be a bit finicky with that so you would just use the arrows and enter to confirm stuff and then save it at the bottom just slowly using the arrows so with uh, this frame generation install you would have to press insert uh, select the DLSS nuke and frame gen so I'll show you how to do it in this uh, save it, restart, and then it will be ready to go. And uh, yeah, then you can use frame generation in the game. So yeah, I'm I'm just uh, I, I just think uh, with AMD it's just more exciting at the moment compared to Nvidia. With there's a lot going on. Uh, as I say, FSR Redstone is gonna bring a heap of changes, and uh, I just I, I really like. Uh, I mean, when I first used FSR 4.0.1, I did notice a nice difference in image quality. And uh, it did look pretty stunning when I put it on this game, the latest version of FSR uh, 4.0.2. So I'm expecting that to just improve even further with image quality. I mean, each time AMD have updated it, there's, there's only been uh, three versions so far, but they have been decent improvements every time. So I'm I'm just excited, as I said, to see what they've improved on this time. Uh, as I've said in my previous videos, aliasing could be a bit slightly off in some games, like in Expedition 33. So I'm going to check that out uh, when I get time. So... I just thought I'd get a quick video out tonight because uh, I know a lot of people wanted this one because I, I haven't literally played it for a while but uh, I do really like the game and it, it will be nice to check out FSR 4 on this with uh, frame generation and just to basically get a good look at the latest version of uh, FSR 4. I mean I, 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 really, I thought the only time that would be released is in the, by AMD officially through the drivers. So it's quite amazing to be how they've managed to get that already. But as I said, I think it's possible that uh, they've unlocked it somehow within the actual adrenaline drivers. So that, that, they must be in it with AMD, I think. But as you can see, uh, it's that everything's on there. So then all you got to do is uh, just go into the graphics options and just enable frame generation, really. Uh, put the reflex on as well because that basically can converts the anti lag, as far as I know. And I was literally getting because I, I don't think I've completely maxed it. I'm, I think I've still got put got to put the ray tracing on, but I was getting a ridiculous boost in frames there. So yeah, that is a uh, that is what you want. Very good. I mean, I was very impressed with the image quality on this. It looked so clean. Did it look bloody clean? It was unbelievable, really. Especially, I mean, coming the last time I checked this game out, uh, it was using FSR three point one, and this really, uh, this really changes the game. So, as I said before, I, I literally couldn't get FSR 4 in this because every time I tried, it was either... I think it crashed or it just wouldn't come up. I, it was one of the two, but uh, I did attempt it. But just... It, obviously, uh, the developer of this, Optiscala, 
they've uh, added more support for games that weren't working. So it is definitely the best app, the best mod I've ever used, I think, while I've been on PC up to scale up. It's just making so many improvements. What I like about it, it just doesn't do one thing. It actually gives you all little bits that you would need. It's like the gamers mod sort of thing. A bit like the uh, AMD app, really. The adrenaline app, it's the, that's the gamers app. But to be honest, that NVIDIA's app is actually getting better. So it's giving you that speed motion option there for 4000 series owners. So that's good for everyone, really. And it like the profile inspector that NVIDIA got the revamped version by hybrid really good. So I really like that as well. So I think mods are a lifesaver and the community are brilliant for supporting games because they often do a lot better than the actual developers themselves. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.